Welcome back! In our previous video, we saw how to generate data from an Excel file and plot them using PageMap library. In this tutorial, we will continue working with NetCDF file format. First of all, we're gonna create a new Scratch file. I'm gonna rename mine as map underscore nc underscore data and I'm gonna import numpy as np then import netcdf4 as nc if you don't already have installed netcdf4 library you can always check my introduction tutorial to see how you can install libraries in python the link will be down below then I'm gonna create a variable called file which stands for the directory of our working netcdf file I'm gonna work with this ecmwf subset then a variable called data which will contain our netcdf dataset using the netcdf4 library dot dataset which needs as inputs the file directory and also a mode in which I will use VR which stands for read mode let's print our data run our script as you can see it is an hcdf3 file with dimensional longitude, latitude and time and all the variables. For more details you can plot data.variables. Let's see what our dataset contains in more details. Our latitude, latitude and time dimensions. Our TCW variable in time, latitude, longitude dimension which stands for total column water TCWV in three dimensions which stands for the total column water vapor LSP CP and all the rest In this tutorial we will work with TCW variable. I'm gonna create three new variables. LON, which stands for latitude, data, dot variables, longitude. And I'll use all of them. LAT which stands for latitude and finally TCW for our total cloud water dataset To plot our datasets, we're gonna import matplotlib library dot pyplot as plt and plot them using contourf plt dot contourf. We use the inputs the longitude, which stands for the x-axis, the latitude for the y-axis, and also TCW. I remind you that it contains the time lat and lot dimensions I'm gonna plot the first of our time series and all the coordinates let's use plt.show this is our dataset let's create again a map as always 
from MPL toolkits. No. MPL toolkits dot base map import base map with capital B. I'm gonna copy the command from our previous script and also map dot draw host lines. Let's run our script. As you can see, we can see the whole image. Let's print our longitude variable to see why. As you can see, our longitude variable runs from 0 to 357.5 degrees, so our base map has to adjust these coordinates. Open right corner longitude has to be 357.5 and low left corner longitude has to be 0. Let's run again. And now we can see the whole image. To loop around all the data frames, we have to make a for loop. For t in the range 0, comma, length of time. Now I have to create my time variable. Time is equal to data dot variables time so that we have our time dimensions and all these commands has to be inside our for loop. I'm gonna clear my plot in each loop, build dot clear and also I'll pause our map for one second. I have also to adjust this 0 to t. Let's run our script. Our dataset has corrupt data in its odd time series. Let's fix this. I'm gonna loop around every two frames. Now our animation is total fine. To have a better script, let's create a function. Let's call draw map, draw underscore map, which will need as inputs RT, which stands for the time, our longitude, latitude, and data. I'm gonna need all these commands inside the R function and I have to change this TCW to data. Let's run our draw map inside our for loop t lon comma lat comma tcw. Let's run our script. As you can see our animation run smoothly. To save animations in MP4 format, you have also to import matplotlib.animation as anim. I don't need this one. I'll comment all these commands. I'll create a variable called anim, which stands for anim dot function animations. This function needs as inputs a figure. Let's create our figure. Fig equals plt dot figure.
a function which will be our draw map with no brackets. I'll have to pass some arguments. I'll leave it for now. An interval which stands for the time in each frame. I'll leave it as 1000 milliseconds. And the frames that it will run our function, it will be an f variable. Let's create our f variable now. f is equal to mp.arrange0. Length of time, comma every two frames. So I use you can see it is the same as our t variable in our for loop. To pass the rest of the arguments, long lat and data, we have to use an frc in packets long comma lat comma tcw let's plot our data plt.show and also i don't need this pause here i'm gonna comment it As you can see, our animation runs perfectly. To save also our animations, we can use the anim.save. It needs as inputs a name. I'll use animation.mp4, a writer for mp4 data format it has to be ffmpeg and frames per second which be the frames in each second I'll use two let's run our script our animation runs smoothly and as you can see An animation.mp4 file has been created. Let's open it. I'll use VLC. As you can see, our animations run perfect. With this tutorial, the whole series has come to an end. Thank you for watching and see you.